I would consider that this is probably one of the, the greatest environmental threats that, that we are facing at the moment. These really dramatic changes we're making to seawater chemistry and also the changes we're making to the climate system are a major threat to, to reef ecosystems. Organisms that make their shells out of calcium carbonate won't even be able to survive. We are really into making wholesale changes in the functioning of the lower trophic levels in the ocean. This is not a fantasy. Uh, we, have the, we have the capacity, we have the ability to acidify the ocean. We've never heard of ocean acidification. For decades, we've been hearing about global warming, and it's only been since the year 2000 that we've begun to discover the depth and dimensions of another disturbing problem that has a much more obvious link to our CO2 emissions. One of the things we've found over the last five years is that's going to have a profound impact on all sorts of different sea life, everything from corals to sea urchins to lobsters. Uh, perhaps even the small larvae and juvenile forms of fish. No, I've never heard of ocean acidification before. We have now direct evidence that the ocean is taking up a significant uh, proportion of this CO2. We know that their shells are likely to be a lot thinner because they will have difficulty in laying down the calcium carbonate that they need to build those shells. Ocean acidification is collapsing the range where water's chemistry is suitable for coral growth to an ever narrower range of latitudes closer and closer to the equator. I wasn't really aware that CO2 is causing a big problem within the oceans. We have indications that the nutritional quality of phytoplankton may change. So in, in fact they become less of a nutritious diet for their predators but more of a hamburger diet. And changes of food source are often uh, preceded by changes in fish structure, fish populations. So what we're seeing now is, is really unprecedented in its, uh, in its rate of change, at least over a very large part of recent Earth history. So what, what's going on is the absolute concentration of carbonate is steadily declining as the CO2 concentration is rising in the atmosphere. There have been changes in atmospheric CO2 of comparable magnitude, but they take tens of thousands of years, if not millions of years. And so we're compressing, uh, we're compressing these very large geological events into the time frame of an individual human. And that's what's scary. There is a level 70 years from now, or 90 years from now, that the ocean will be so acidic, and it's, it's easily modeled, that of the known distribution of cold water corals today, we know yeah, that 70% really cool. of those known uh, cold water coral reefs will be in waters subsaturated, waters which basically allow calcium carbonate to dissolve. So as more carbon dioxide gets into these certain areas, the depth at which calcium carbonate begins to dissolve is getting closer and closer to the surface. So you can, you can think of these organisms oh, as wow, potentially being squeezed out. They, they have less place to live. We know that some animals are going to be affected by ocean acidification. We also know that some animals are going to be affected more than others. So what we're going to get in future is we're going to get shifts in which animals are able to survive and which animals are not able to survive. Those shifts are going to make big changes in the ecosystems it's going to change the way in which those ecosystems function. It's going, to, it's going to change the goods and services that those ecosystems are able to provide to us. And there are enough signs to indicate that we've already started to overwhelm the planet's natural ability to neutralize the huge amounts of carbonic acid we've added to the sea in just the last few decades. So the stage might just be set for an extinction event across a broad spectrum of the species that live in the sea. I've, I've heard the term ocean acidification, but I don't really know anything about it. 